Hey, it's Mike. Today I want to talk about GameStop. It was up almost 9% yesterday, up to 1385. Uh, this was after GameStop was able to break through its 50-day uh, moving average, which was sitting at like about 1290, and it, con it continued to move up. And now that it's closed above its 50-day moving average, this is definitely a stock that you'll want to buy after it pulls back a little bit, but remains above its 50-day moving average. This is a, a pretty impressive run-up. Now, I do believe uh, GameStop recovered really well after having a pretty big drop, and the drop was due to the announcement that GameStop was closing a thousand of its locations in March or April. I actually see that as positive news because uh, GameStop, you know, they have 5,500 physical locations, and in an age where physical retail stores are not as important as they used to be, you kind of need to pare down the number of retail stores you have and only keep the ones that are the most profitable. Also, GameStop should be focusing on e-commerce. Their e-commerce sales were up uh, over 200% compared to last year. And Ryan Cohen, the founder of Chewy.com, who owns a 10% stake now in GameStop, is trying to steer this company into being more of an e-commerce uh, focused company rather than a, a company that's dependent on physical stores, which are less important these days. And because of all of that, I have a very positive long-term view on GameStop. And I think this is a company that'll be uh, definitely worth much more than its $966 million market cap right now. In fact, I believe uh, in 10 years from now, or at the end of the 2020s decade, this is a company that'll be worth $30 billion. So it'll be a 30-fold increase from where it is now. But that's contingent upon GameStop uh, moving into e-commerce and, and taking seriously uh, the, the the gains that they already have in their e-commerce business and capitalizing on that. If they do, um, it'll grow. And that, not only that, the gaming industry just continues to explode. The gaming industry is going to double in size over the next two years. So GameStop, because of their great brand name recognition, has uh, an incredible opportunity to capitalize on that kind of growth. So I definitely like GameStop. Now that it's above its 50-day moving average, I will definitely be buying more on any pullback. It, yeah, it's probably going to pull back. I'm thinking it's going to pull back um, probably down to like the 12, uh, 1260 level, uh, probably give back half of the gains that we have here and then continue to move higher. And that's when I will buy more of these shares. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, and stock trading strategies. Thanks a lot. Bye.